Good day, everyone. Welcome to OTV. I am Juliet Achonwa, and with me in the studio today is Mr. Henry Dokubo. Mr. Henry, you're welcome to OTV. Thank you. We are pleased to have you here today. Today, we will be talking about the plans of the federal government of Nigeria to lift up 100 million persons out of poverty in the next 10 years. Please, Mr. Henry, what is your take on that? Okay, um, you're asking me a question of how I see the plan of the government. Um, me, I think uh, it will be a daunting task, if not almost impossible. Because one, this government has only two years to stay on seat, okay? So, and they are making a plan of 10 years. So the question will be, who is going to, you know, implement this, their plan? You know, it will be more, even more difficult if maybe the opposition gets into power. Okay? If you're making a plan, this government has been here for the past six years. And they've been making, you know, plans of eradicating poverty in this country. Remember, we have, we still have this NPAP program that is running. And for me, that plan, that NPAP project is, is, is like, I don't know, it's nothing to write home about because it has been politicized, it has been bastardized by the government. We also have um, feeding of children, school children, 5,000 school children. That's I don't know if you can remember the COVID-19 period. This government told us that they are going to feed 5,000 children. When we also, when even we know that there were, there were no children to feed as of then, because as of then the, the schools were on lockdown. So the question would be, who are the children that this, the government were feeding? You understand? So if the government comes out today and tells us that, okay, the next 10 years they're going to eradicate um, take 100 million persons out of poverty in the next 10 years. I, 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 I'm, I'm in doubt. Seriously, I'm in doubt. And uh, I'm, I'm yet to see a, a practical plan that the government has for this, their, um, for this their plan. So that's just my take. Oh, Mr. Henry, yes. I am so like, I don't really know where to come in. But some persons are saying it's possible. Some say it's possible and if uh, sincerity is applied to them. But it's a striking something statement you just made now. The government is about going out. Yeah. It's just remaining a few years for them to, and they are telling us about 10 years. Um, Mr. Henry, I'm seeing politics in here. What do you think? Um, thank you for that, that your question, and let me make a point, make known to people viewing us that um, this is, I'm not a politician, I, I'm just trying to end my view and to, you know, tell it the way I feel about it. Coming to your question, uh, me too, I'm beginning to think maybe the government has a plan, you know, to continue from, that is, the, the, to continue till the next 10 years. I'm beginning to have that, maybe there's a plan beneath. But if there's no plan, if they don't have such plan, according, judging from our political environment in this country, government should be a continual thing. But over the years, we've seen that in Nigeria, in this our country, uh, government, when, when someone, when a set of government comes and goes, the other one comes and begins to do what, you know, he, um, he, he wants, uh, no, and, and all that. But I, 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 I really don't, for me, some, certain, some people might think it's possible, but for me I think it's possible, but I think it's almost impossible, you know, because the task the 100 million persons in 10 years is not, it's not, it's not, it's not on, uh, 10, 10 million persons in 10 years. It's very, it, it will be a very big, you know, task for the government. And I still hold, I still believe, I still believe, and I still maintain the fact that this government is going the next two years, you know, and who will they bring to continue from, to, 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 
to implement this their 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 plan. Um, Mr. Henry. Yes. I you said something about it not being possible. Yes. And don't you think it's possible if the government had enough time? I've heard some persons give reasons, points, yes. why it can be possible since it has a number of persons. Yes. And some persons say it can be achieved if the federal government of Nigeria can hand it over to a private sector to handle this. And the private sector can, can reach to other places mm -hmm. since it is something private and the person will want the private sectors we want to handle it. Some person said if it is given to um, a kind of um, some persons like uh, non-governmental organizations, mm -hmm. they'll be able to run to these places and get this done okay. by creating jobs in okay. these communities. Okay. And don't you think it's possible if really federal government have enough that, or let's say this system of government, these um, ruling party, present ones, have enough years to fulfill that? Um, that, that's a very nice question. Um, if they are given enough time, yes, it might be possible. It's not 100% that it will be possible. It might be possible if sincerity is applied. Number two, you, asked, you talked about non-governmental non organization being uh, handling uh, no, the plan. Um, that's, that's, that's also a fair one, because over the years in this country we've um, noticed that government organizations, government establishments are not uh, being handled properly, you understand? Uh -huh. For example, if you, go to, um, if you go to government schools, all right, you can't compare government schools, you know, to, to the private, private sectors. schools. Why? It's because, you know, government is, we, 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 this part of the world, we feel that government property is everybody's property. You yeah. come, you manage it, and you just, yes. and you go. All right? Government hospitals, for example, go to government hospitals compared to private hospitals. They are not the same. Most times, government establishments are mismanaged. But if this, plan is being handled, is being given to non-governmental organizations, I think it's a good step, you know, at the right direction. And that would be a very, very good step for this government to take. But another thing is uh, sincerity, you know, because a lot of, a lot of people have lost, you know, you know, interest, let's say interest or has lost confidence on the government. So when, when you hear of government thing, people lose interest, people lost confidence because of how the government has behaved over the years. But on the part of giving more time, yes, it's, it's, it's possible. But now that they don't have the time, that's where the problem lies. So I really go with that, your thoughts, and go with that, your, your idea. finding. Your idea, thank you. Okay. Yeah. So that, that, would be, that would be better. Okay, Mr. Henry, yes. what do you think would be the solution to the high rate of poverty in the country today? Um, thank you for your question. Uh, but before the solution, I would like us to look at the statistics uh, of poverty in the country, in Nigeria. Um, uh, according to the World Bank here, it stated already inflation and rising prices pushes about 7 million Nigerians before below the poverty rate. 7 million. So we are still going, we are still going. The National Bureau of Statistics, NBS, puts Nigerian poverty figure to at over 82.9 million Nigerians, or 40% of the country's population. The un unemployment rate also sparked to 33.3% in the fourth quarter of 2020, although 2020, the highest in over 13 years. And it goes on and on. You understand? Yeah. So, judging from According to the statistics, they say 40% of Nigerian population are living 
below the poverty rate. And it's not as if we are poor. Like, you are below poor. Wow. It's huge. So huge. It's really huge. Yeah. So, what is the solution? The question, that's, that's the question. Yeah. What is the solution? Yeah. For me, personally, I think the solution will start with the right mind. Right mind. Seriousness. All right? Okay. Yes. If the government is serious, everything is possible. They can achieve any, everything, yeah, anything true. they want to achieve. But over the years, we've seen a government that is not serious. So one, I think, agriculture is very important. Yeah. Very, very important. And I urge all state, state, um, state government, uh, you know, state governors to embrace agriculture. Number two, empowerment. Now, I'm talking about the solution here. Let's let the government create an establishment to empower people. or to employ people. Although, yes, fine. Entrepreneurship is very important too. Sure. And how can we, you know, achieve that? The government should bring out or should set up, set up a comprehensive loan team. Or do you feel like I, 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 I can put it that way? Like the one that is on yes that, that the one that is that like the one that is on but they can do better yes because over the years this country is all about politics if you're in charge you bring your people you understand not minding the masses the masses so we have a lot a, 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 a long way to go but what i have said earlier it's seriousness and you know, the mindset of, let's not have this mindset of, okay, these are my people, you know, these are not my people, all right? Loan, entrepreneurship, employment. Creation of job opportunities. Yes, and agriculture. Right. So if you can, if you can, if you can achieve this, if you can, if the government can come up with the mindset of, yes, let's do this, and forgetting Godfather, Godfatherism, um, corruption and all that that is the only solution I think for me I think we have that's the only solution okay mr. Henry Dokovo thank you for coming thank you for having me and to our viewers out there thank you for watching you can as well leave with us your comments thank you for watching OTV see you next time Good.